वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स टू अवर नेक्स्ट वीडियो सेशन ऑफ नॉन लिनियर प्रोग्रामिंग मॉड्यूल सेवन ऑफ ऑपरेशन रिसर्च प्रीवियसली इन द फर्स्ट वीडियो वी हैव लर्न अबाउट द बैकग्राउंड ऑफ ऑप्टिमाइजेशन इंट्रोडक्शन टू नॉन लिनियर प्रोग्रामिंग एंड सम बेसिक टर्म्स रिलेटिंग टू नॉन लिनियर प्रोग्रामिंग वी ऑल्सो सीन द डिफरेंट ग्राफिकल रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ अ Uh, constant and as well as uh, non-constant, unconstant, um, non-linear program. Today we will be having some characteristics of the, you know, graphical illustration of a uh, non-linear programming. Okay. So before I go to the uh, directly to the non-linear programming uh, graphical representation, I would like to share some of the concepts uh, regarding, you know, uh, graphical representation. let us say we have two new terms convex and concave functions they are very important in relation to you know uh, linear as well as non linear programs okay so we must know what this concave and convex functions are basically in relation to uh, graphical representation of whatever you can say it is maybe um, linear one or uh, non linear one as well okay so look this uh, concave functions i can write as uh, concave functions are you must note make a note somewhere because these are very important terms i am going to discuss with you today <coughs> so you can uh, write as concave functions are curving downward okay or not curving at all it can be termed as convex function uh, concave functions okay and the con convex functions are convex functions are you know curving upwards curving upwards or not curving at all okay so these two are very important and if i plot you know this type of convex and concave functions they will look like somewhat like this one and you know this one okay so this is you know concave concave functions and these are you know convex functions Okay. Now, <clears throat> let us have a function, say f x. Okay. Now, in order to find the maxima or minima, whatever you can say, we have to find first the derivative. Okay. Say derivative of this function. Okay. So d d x, you have to find, and you have to make it zero. To find, you know, I can write to find uh, optimal. x star i can write okay now <clears throat> for maximization problem what we are doing for maximization i can write for say maximization problems we are having d square x that is the double derivative of the function given function should be less than equal to less than should be less than equal to less than 0 okay so For maximization problem, we are having negative values of del square f by del x square. That is a double derivative. Okay, and for minimization, just opposite we are having. I can write for minimization we are having double derivative as greater than zero. I can write okay. And the other all things remain same. Okay, so if you need to find a maximization of a particular given problem you already know this have you have already done in your engineering mathematics or you can say 11 and 12 mathematics you know how to find the maximum value or minimum value of a given function just you have to simply derivative it put that derivation a uh, derivative as zero and then if the double derivative comes as uh, you know less than zero then it is for maximization and it comes uh, greater than zero then it is for minimization okay now <coughs> if you look uh, for concave function i can say uh, this concave function is generally uh, you know second derivative must be negative that is uh, this one maximization this concave functions 
originate due to maximization problem. So you must take a note or you can write it somewhere else. I will write it for you. It is very important how the curve going to look like if you are having a uh, you know function of uh, maximization or minimization problem. Uh, generally, what type of curves you are giving, getting when you are plotting a graphical solution of that particular linear problem or maybe it may be a non-linear one. So you can write it as say for concave functions you can write a second derivative negative. second derivative must be negative must be negative ok and a global you know global maximum I am writing it short maximum uh, should be possible to have ok should be possible to have now for this particular convex type of function you can write uh, for convex function uh, secondary must be you know positive so just write second derivative tive must be positive and a global minimum should exist global minimum should be positive to have okay you can write positive to have okay. now <clears throat> there was the concave and convex uh, function so if you are having a maximization problem then you are having you know in this concave uh, type of curve for graphical solution and if you are having you know um, minimization problem okay then you are having uh, this convex type of function in during graphical plot of lp or nlp that is linear program or non nonlinear program okay the curve look like this one okay for you know maximization and this one for minimization so this must you must keep in mind okay how the curve look like this is the concave functions and this is a convex function now there may exist another one i can show it you may face a problem when the curve uh, you know like this one i can show you say this one like this one okay now you cannot determine whether this curve is a concave or convex one okay so there could be a functions that are neither you can say this is neither concave nor convex you can say okay so this type of problems you are also going to face okay so <clears throat> here you can find you know here you can may you may find you know local maxima or minima you can find okay local maxima or minima you can find but not global minima or maxima okay or maxima <coughs> here only comes the you know the concept of or the field of NLP that is non-linear programming ok now let us discuss some of the problems of convex programming so a convex programming it can be termed as a non-linear program I can write it as simply NLP that is non-linear programming becomes a convex program when we have two points I can write you must also make a note when objective function is a concave function okay concave function and the second point says each constraint 
each constant is a convex function okay let us try with the example say example we are having uh, maximization this is maximization of function fx say and it is given by uh, 5x1 minus you know x1 square and plus 8x2 minus 2x2 square okay say we are subjected to 3x1 plus 3x1 plus 2x2 less than equal to 6 and non-negativity constants are x1 greater than equal to 0 and x2 greater than equal to 0 okay now let us see whether the statement is valid or not let us derivate the first portion and second portion separately say this is with respect to x1 so uh, let us take double derivative let's see what it comes if you take double derivative f double dash x it will be coming around minus 2 and if you take double derivative with respect to x2 for this part this portion it is coming as you know this double derivative x equal to minus 4 okay so both of them can be termed as convex concave function okay concave function concave you know how to take the derivative i think okay so there is no need to show you how i have taken double derivative okay if you want i can just uh, illustrate in uh, orally look first derivative 5 minus 2x1 okay next derivative 5 becomes 0 so it remains only minus 2 okay similarly you can do this uh, part also okay now since this second derivative of these two you know objective functions two parts with respect to you know x1 and uh, x2 uh, you, have, you can see they are coming as to be uh, negative one okay the second derivative so you can easily conclude that this function objective function is a concave function you can tell okay now let us see so this is you know uh, a type of example of convex programming where we have having objective function is a concave function and each constant is a convex function okay for this one each convex each constant is a convex function i can give you one more example uh, let us stick to the video so that you can have a clear idea of convex and convex type of problems or functions you can rather say so the second problem i can give you as you know say maximization of fx can be written as x1 there is multivariable i am writing plus x2 plus x3 plus x4 so you can see there are more than one decision variable so that is, that is multivariable and it is subjected to you know <coughs> x1 minus x2 square plus x3 plus 2x4 to the power 4 say okay less than equal to 5 and x1 plus 2x2 plus 3x3 plus 4x4 should be less than equal to 6 and this all x1 x2 x3 you know x4 should always be greater than or equal to 0 another one more i can give you uh, say minimization problem minimization of fx and uh, it is given as say minus 2x1 plus x2 okay and it is subject to say x1 square plus x2 square that should be less than or equal to 3 okay now i think you have a concept of convex programming now let us come to the non convex type of programming so let us write non convex type of programming way in non convex type of programming we are having uh, say non linear programming nlp and the conditions that must be satisfied for having non convex type of programming should be objective function i can write objective function is a convex concave okay previously it was convex and it is a objective function should be a concave function 
so I can write and so it, it can also be written as uh, objective function is a concave function and that is it can be written also in the form it may be convex or neither or neither so it is a special case you know and the second point you must note each constant is a convex function okay convex function now if i come to the example say we have a maximization of problem say maximization of fx function x fx equal to x1 n2 x2 okay i can write and it is subjected to the constants x1 square plus x2 should less than equal to 3 and x1 you know x2 should be always greater than equal to 0 okay now you can see the objectic function is a type of concave function although the constants are you know uh, convex type i can write it they are convex function and these are concave function okay now the last one there is no last uh, concept is there for quadratic function so uh, we have one more thing one more important you should know at least you should have a idea what this actually is quadratic programming okay let us take an example that will help you more clearly to understand what this actually quadratic programming looks like okay say we have to minimize say a function z and that is equal to you know x1 minus 2x2 plus say 4x3 plus x1 square plus 2x2 square plus 3x3 square plus x1 into x3 you can say okay. and say we have constants as 3x1 plus 4x2 minus 2x3 less than equal to 10 and also minus 3x1 plus 2x2 plus x3 greater than equal to 2 and also say 2x1 plus 3x2 plus 4x3 equal to 5 okay and the ranges are given as 0 less than equal to x1 less than equals to 5 1 less than equals to x2 less than equals to you know 5 and 0 less than equal to x3 less than equal to 5 so this is a basic structure of a quadratic program you know look how you can tell this is a quadratic program look here we are in the objective function we are having square terms as well as the product terms this is the product terms you can see and this is the you know square terms okay so well why the objective function uh, is a combination of this different you know algebraic uh, functions they are using in this particular uh, objective function this is the objective function you can write it as an objective function so when we are having this combinations of square terms product terms we can tell this as a quadratic programming type of problem so so this is basically uh, uh, you know first part of the uh, video we have completed now let us directly move to the graphical illustration of an nlp okay? now you have a clear idea about uh, nonlinear programming the formulations the structure of a typical nonlinear program you know, you know that uh, in real world program problems we are having the objective function uh, may not be a linear function okay or some of the constants may not be a linear constant. So, uh, NLP, that is the nonlinear programming, uh, came into scene when uh, to do, deal with uh, not proportional or uh, you can say not proportional or additive, you know, additive business relationship, you can say also. There, the, you know, function of 
NLP came into the scene. Okay. Now this NLP generally deal with uh, you know uh, more challenging. It is more challenging to solve, and the structure is somewhat like linear programming. Uh, you can say that is the, it is having a objective function and a set of constants. May not be a set of constants uh, that is known as the unconstant type of uh, nonlinear programming. Okay. Now uh, coming to the necessity, I can say that it is very difficult. Uh, where it is very difficult to use uh, linear programming, we are using nonlinear programming. Okay, but uh, <coughs> solution is a very exhaustive one and a difficult one also. You can say, but it is more accurate. NLP, I can say, NLP is more accurate than LP. You know, that is linear programming. Okay. Now coming to the you know. Uh, Graphical illustration of uh, NLP. We can take a problem and we'll see how to plot or what are the characteristics of a, a graphical solution of a NLP. You know. So let us take a problem. Say we have a, a minimization problem. Uh, can be written as say minimization of you know function f x. And this is a generalist structure I am writing. Say subject to gj of x equal to bj you can say okay and j is from 1 to dot dot m and say x equal to this x okay this x can be written as you know x1 x2 up to xm and power you can have t okay so if we take a more you know uh, real problem i can take it as a minimization of say 2x1 plus 3x2 okay and i can write the constant as x1 square plus x2 square equal to 1 okay now you know how to calculate the slope of this particular objective function okay you already seen the uh, method of finding this uh, you know slope in my sensitivity an analysis of linear programming problem and if you haven't seen the uh, video i suggest you to um, go to the playlist where you will find the sensitivity an analysis of linear programming well where you will uh, able to uh, see how to find the slope let us see slope is of this particular you know object function is given by say slope is given by you know already c1 by c2 okay so c1 is the you know coefficient of the decision variables of x1 say and c2 is the coefficient of uh, you know decision variable x2 so i can write it as a slope of 2 by 3 look 2 by 3 i can write it over here okay now <clears throat> from this particular constant equation you can see x square plus x1 square plus x2 square equal to 1 you already learned in your uh, class 9 10 or 11 12 uh, 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 mathematics and engineering mathematics also that this equation represents uh, uh, nothing but a circle with radius of one okay so the minimum will be the point where the lowest line still stretches the circle we'll construct the you know uh, uh, graphical solution of this particular objective function but let us write the most important points you can make a note so that you will be able to see later in your home so you can write the minimum of this you know objective function will be the point uh, <clears throat> where the lowest line you know touches uh, the circle you can write okay and one another important point uh, it can be written as uh, say so similarly if we consider the maximization say so this is the minimum point and it is a minim minimization problem as well but if you consider it a maximization so i can write the maximization can be found out so maximization of the same objective function this one okay objective function i can write in a short form you know objective function and <clears throat> the maximum point will be you know 
maximum point will be the point where the upper line upper line touches uh, the circle okay so now you have an idea what will be the graph look like so in the graph the minimum will be the point where the lowest line touches the circle and the you know maximum point will be the point where the upper line touches the circle that is the main you know gist of the graphical illustration of a uh, nlp or non linear programming you can say so you, you must make a note of these two you know points these are very important for graphical illustration of a non linear programming type problems okay now let us construct the say uh, the graphical solution of this particular objective function of non linear type okay let us have a graph of this one where we will be having a you know uh, say this one and say this is your x2 and say this is your x1 okay so we have to construct a circle you know let us construct sorry for my drawing actually you should consider this as a circle you know and you know uh, this is a circle of radius 1 you can say okay now what will be the minimum and maximum point we have to find out from this particular graph okay and <coughs> say we have to draw tangent you know at the upper point and the lower point also say these are the tangents okay, these are the tangents okay. say this one and say this one you can say okay arrow can be both sides you know no problem in that now this you can say as this region you can say as a feasible one okay inside the circle okay now this one <coughs> here where the tangent touches the circle we will construct a gradient you know what is gradient gradient is the you know perpendicular to the tangent of this particular circle this is a gradient okay similarly you can construct a gradient at this point also you just consider it a point only okay it's it seems to have a have, you know um, touches the circle in different points but take it as a as because in uh, in your definition of a uh, tangent it says that the line which touches the circle at a point only okay so let us consider this as a point this is a point okay so you just construct a gradient over here that is the perpendicular to the you know tangent okay now for the maximization i can write a uh, del operator will be here so it will be a uh, you know i can write it as gradient and this will be you know a gradient you know this is the sign del operator of fx that is a function given function and it can be written as you know uh, partial derivative of del f by del x1 and it will be del f by del x2 okay for this particular nonlinear problem okay and this is the del operator i can make a note over here this is the del operator okay now at this particular point if you find if you solve the problem you'll find that if uh, at you know optimal points you can write it as a optimal points as 0 0.55 and 0 0.83 similarly if you find at this point okay so at this point it will be maximum you know and at this point it will be minimum and the point will be minus 0 0.55 and minus 0 0.83 only okay so you can see where the upper line touches we are having the maximum of the particular function given function and where it touches the you know lower limit we are having the minimization of the function and the points are equivalent only the change in the sign that is it is in positive 0.55 and it is negative minus 0 0.55 okay now for this one i can write it over here gradient of constraints can be written as as you know del operator of gx say previously i wrote the you know uh, generalist form okay so this is a gradient equation you can say and it can be written as 
here we are having this one as equation gradient as uh, constant equation as x1 square plus x2 square you know equal to 1. So this is the del operator for constant and this is the del operator for you know the objective function okay. So now if you find uh, the at this particular you know uh, point the uh, maximum value or uh, rather I say the minimum value at that point you are getting the minimum value. So I can write it as f of x we are having the minimum the objective function as minus 3.6 okay minus 3.6 and for this one this point we are having the maximum value as f of x you can say as positive of 3.605 you can say okay so you can see for the same circle where the upper line touches you know the gradient we are having the maximum point maximum function of this particular uh, given nonlinear programming as fx equal to 3.605 and the minimum value in the lower point that the optimal points are minus 0.55 and minus 0.83 and the value of the you know minimum, minimum value of this particular objective function found to be fx equal to minus 3.6 only okay now one more thing i would like to say you that uh, <coughs> objective functions okay objective functions are straight lines straight parallel lines actually okay this objective functions are straight par parallel lines and the gradient of the objective function is a straight line pointing to our direction of the increasing objective function you can write it as this one only okay this one so the direction will be this, in this point only okay and for this one we will be having this direction now this you can tell as a gradient of the objective function okay this is the direction of the gradients of objective function you can say okay and this direction gives you the gradient of the constants you can write gradient of constants okay now you can also make a note objective functions are straight lines and the gradient of the objective function is a straight line pointing toward the direction of the increasing objective function which is to the upper right this one okay so gradient of the object function should be directed towards this side okay? and <clears throat> one more thing i'll show you say this one is the curve okay now this is the this is a very important thing you must take a note this is the curve you can say this is the curve okay and this is the tangent okay this is the tangent and this perpendicular line is known as the gradient line you can say okay so this is the gradient line and it is perpendicular to the i already told you but you must take a note gradient to the tangent to the curve okay it is a perpendicular to the tangent of, of the curve you can say okay so the gradient of constant will be pointing out from the circle and so its direction will depend on the point at which the gradient is evaluated at this point okay so this is the point okay now i think <clears throat> this all i have an illustration of a graphical solution of a nonlinear programming so you can say the maximum value we are getting at this point upper point and the minimum value of this particular you know the same problem we are having at this uh, lower point of this particular circle where the you know tangent touches to the circle and we are having a you know gradient and uh, which is uh, perpendicular to the tangent this one and the gradient of the constants are directed towards the you know objective functions this one and we are having the maximum value at the optimal points as well as the minimum value at these points okay but the direction and uh, the signs are different this is a positive 3.605 and this is a negative 3.6 okay so this is you know uh, the, a brief in uh, the illustration of uh, graphical solution to a nonlinear programming type problems hope you have enjoyed the session if you have any doubt you can comment in the comment section thank you thank you for watching